Juno has one of the strongest communities in the interchain and pumped significantly in the past couple of months. There also has been a lot of attention on the project. The reason, a rail address that owns too much Juno might get seized. But why is this so and what is the Juno token and airdrop all about? This is what I will explain to you in today's episode. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and give this video a like. This triggers the YouTube algorithm and leads to a Juno pump on the other hand. And now let us dive deeper into Juno. In 2021, we saw many layer 1s emerging. Layer 1s are blockchains like Ethereum, where developers can deploy smart contracts. These smart contracts can be DeFi applications like AMMs or lending protocols and less complex applications. However, layer 1s are affected mainly by two significant problems, scalability and interoperability. So they find it hard to process many transactions at high speed. And besides, it isn't very easy for them to connect with other blockchains. But Cosmos found a solution for exactly these problems. By leveraging the Cosmos SDK and the Tendermint consensus algorithm, projects can easily set up their own customized and scalable proof-of-stake blockchain. In case you do not know yet, the Cosmos SDK is a developer toolkit for precisely that purpose. Besides, Cosmos provides a communication standard called IBC. When enabling IBC, a blockchain becomes interoperable with the rest of the Cosmos ecosystem. And here's the deal. Juno is an IBC-enabled blockchain that leverages the Cosmos SDK. This is how Juno reaches high scalability and interoperability. But what can you actually do on Juno? The exciting aspect of Juno is that developers can deploy smart contracts on the Juno blockchain. But how is this possible? This is possible because of Cosm Wasm. Cosm Wasm is a module that developers can plug into the Cosmos SDK. When doing so, their blockchain can support smart contracts without changing existing logic. Therefore, Cosm Wasm is designed for a multi-chain environment. It is an excellent way for Cosmos blockchains to support smart contracts. This is a game changer for the whole Cosmos ecosystem as developers can build a smart contract enabled blockchain from scratch. Projects that launch a token with Cosmosm are based on the CW20 standard. It is a similar standard to Ethereum's ERC20 token standard. Tokens like Aave or Compound based on this standard. And Juno uses Cosmosm's smart contract framework to allow developers to deploy their smart contracts on their blockchain. It is important to mention that Juno is not the only blockchain in the interchain space that uses Cosmosm. More than 20 well-known Cosmos chains like Osmosis, Region Network or Secret Network have integrated Cosmosm already. Cosmosm is a crucial aspect of Juno as it provides an infrastructure for developers to build in-house Juno applications. If you want to know more about why this is so important, check out our previous episode where I explained the importance of in-house steps in the case of FMOS, another well-known Cosmos chain that is about to launch. But in plain words, in-house steps on Juno could lead to a massive network effect. In addition, it would soak in a lot of liquidity, strengthening the role of Juno in the interchain. Now let us talk about the tokenomics of Juno. Juno is a native cryptocurrency of the Juno network. It is primarily used for staking. When staking Juno, you participate in the proof of stake consensus algorithm and help to secure the chain. When doing so, you earn rewards in the form of Juno. Besides, Juno also acts as a governance token. When holding Juno, you have a say in the community and can vote on governance proposals that impact the project's development. Also, Juno is being used to pay gas fees in the network. And last but not least, Juno is being used for capturing value from dApps built on top of the Juno network. By the way, if you want to stake Juno, check out our validator called Friends Validator. We are one of the biggest validators on Juno. We also have an auto compound bot. When staking Juno with our auto compound bot, you do not have to restake your rewards daily. The bot is doing the work for you. And when doing so, we also pay the transaction fees for you. Find out more information on friends.army, the link is in the description below. 
To distribute Juno to the community, Juno airdropped its cryptocurrency to Atom Stakers. Therefore, a snapshot was made on the 18th of February 2021. In total, 30.66 million Juno were airdropped to 46,137 Atom addresses. The tokens were airdropped on a one-to-one -one basis. So, when staking 10 Atom, you were eligible to claim 10 Juno. To ensure that no address gets too much Juno and harms the network's decentralization, a so-called whale cap was implemented. The whale cap determined that no address can get more than 50,000 Juno. The whale cap was the reason for the latest whale drama. But what happened? A Japanese entity staked so much Atom across different addresses that it was eligible to claim more than 3 million Juno. To bring this into perspective, 3 million Juno are worth more than 120 million dollars at the time of recording. The 3 million Junos were consolidated into one address after the network's launch. The well address belongs to a Japanese fund that manages dozens of individuals' Atom and Juno funds. This is why, apparently on build, the funds got consolidated to one address. But people from the Juno community and core team pointed out the risk of centralization. This address could impact governance procedures significantly, harming the democratic community on the other hand. This is what many people in the community fear. The address owns so much Juno that it could become a massive threat to the entire Juno network regarding decentralization and governance. Because of this fear, Governance Proposal 16 was proposed. Proposal 16 would seize large parts of the Wales funds to ensure decentralization. Even though the proposal passed, there will be another proposal soon. But it is important to mention that many well-known cosmonauts are against this proposal. This proposal would speak against everything the crypto industry stands for and seizing somebody's address would mark a historical event in crypto's young history. In addition, seizing the whale's address could create a precedent to seize more addresses in the future. This is what many critics claim. If you want to know more about the proposal's background, our opinion on it and what other Cosmos thought leaders like Sunny Agarwal think about it, check out our recent podcast episode. To wrap things up, Juno is an IBC-enabled proof-of-stake blockchain that leverages the Cosmos SDK. It implemented Cosmvosm, which allows developers to deploy smart contracts on Juno. The Juno token is used for staking, governance, paying fees and capturing value from dApps built on top of the Juno network. Juno hit the news recently because of Governance Proposal 16, which aimed to seize an address. This was a very controversial decision and it is not sure yet what the consequences will look like when the address gets seized. But all in all, we at DeFi Times are big fans of Juno and hold Juno in our portfolios. However, please note as always that we at DeFi Times are no financial advisors. None of our statements represent financial advice. Our content is for informational purposes only. But now let us know what you think of Juno. Comment in the comment section below. Also let us know which project we should cover next. And of course subscribe to this YouTube channel and give this video a like if you want to see Juno pumping. And with that being said, I hope I will see you on Wednesday for another episode of This Week in Cosmos. Before wrapping this episode off, I also want to mention that my bro Liam from Confident in Crypto will publish a YouTube video about Juno airdrops this week. So you better don't miss out on this one. You can find the link to his YouTube channel in the description below. So make sure to subscribe to his YouTube channel as well.